circus people to come. No. <laughs> I want that party to really swing, doesn't everybody? Now, how do you throw a fabulous party? Well, there is a checklist, and all this week we will be ticking off the items on it, one by one. Flowers, got them. Decor, yep. Food, check. But wait, something's missing. Something to make it a really fabulous evening. What could it be? Oh, I know, the wine. <laughs> Please meet the most fabulous names in wine and wine pairing. Georgia and Suzanne, also known as the Wine Ladies. <laughs> All right, you guys. So the party that I'm having. Are we invited? Well, shoot, it depends on how, what kind of wine you're gonna bring. <laughs> I don't know just yet. The party I'm having, I've already planned this out um, for long and complicated reasons, is going to be Greek themed. You can, uh -huh. With Greek you can do a good balance of veg and meat, you can do a good balance of quickly store bought and homemade. Yeah. So those are my <laughs> rationales. So I'm having a Greek themed party. Mm -hmm. So you guys have gone to work and found me some wines to serve at my Greek party, mm -hmm. correct? Absolutely. Correct. And Come we on. had fun doing it too. Good. I know you did. You guys are fun no matter what you do. It's hard to get her up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where do we start? Well, Jill, you know what? We want to get your party going in a really big way and kick it off with some sparkling wine. Okay. And what we brought to start off we've, the party. Absolutely. And right. what we brought here is a Spanish sparkling wine. Okay. They call their sparkling wine cava. And cava. we've got a Cordonneau here. And it's only ten ninety five a bottle, so it's a great bargain. All right. And uh, it's gonna be great with all of your appetizers. Oh, Let's open it. That's sure. absolutely now, you know, just talking about <laughs> sparkling wine is really nice. But Jill, but we have like to, to warn it. you and warn the audience that this, this bottle's been sitting here for oh, a while. Goodness. It could be so dangerous. As, as the so sparkling wine, well, yeah, as it warms up, there's a good chance that the cork may come out a little bit less, so in a little less controlled, yes. <laughs> so you always so want to keep your hand action. over. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. I like all the camera crews, so don't point at me. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to like open. Not <laughs> like. no. Oh, boy, that's hard to open. Okay. There we so go. you're going to turn, turn the trick when you're doing this. The what are the tricks? Yes. You're you want to hold bottle. it at 45 degree angles, and you add a 45 degree angle, and you want to turn the bottle, not the cork. Okay. And actually, the way it really should be opening is without a big pop. It's more with like a, a hush. hush. Subtle. Ha -ha. So let's okay. see what happens. Let's Watch see. that cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> you got me nervous. I'm scared. I know. Here we go. This is like champagne. Oh, Perfect. Oh, okay. Sparkling <laughs> wine or yep. champagne, make sure you serve it in a fluted glass. Mm. Okay. So, it, so that Does the this bubbles. Count as a fluted glass? Well, not no. quite. <laughs> but you know, a lot of people serve it in the coupe glasses. Mm. And I don't know if you're familiar with those glasses those or not. It's a wider, bowl yes. sort of glass. Exactly. And that glass was fashioned after Marie Antoinette's breast, a perfect size beak. No, actually, really? there's some controversy. It may not have been Marie Antoinette's, it might have been Madame Pompadour's or something. But anyway, it was fashioned after somebody's boob. Somebody <laughs> that we know for sure. Which were and clearly it wasn't not. Madonna's little thing, my either. <laughs> <laughs> For today, can we use these? Yes, we can. Yes, okay. we sure can. And this yes. is a nice you guys are killing me. You're talking about <laughs> wine. It's taking forever to pour it. Let's go. Let's taste it. Okay, it's <laughs> nice and dry, and it's got right. good acidity, and that's why it's a perfect go, kind Jeff. of thing to start off your party with. And it's going to act like a turbocharger. It's going to get okay. the palate going and turbocharger enhance the, the palate. Absolutely. Okay. You're going to have a great party. It works okay. all the way around. All right. Hey, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now, is it total sacrilege to, um, to add, you know, in, in Italy, they add... Uh, peach juice and make sort of uh, you can add um, uh, what is it orange pa juice and well, curiel and, and all that kind of thing. Oils. Is that well we yes. always say drink what you like too okay exactly and you know what if you have a sparkling wine okay. that you haven't sort of broken the bank with I mean this is a this really is nice. good sparkling wine for 10.95 if you want to do that that's okay but if you have like the Piper Heidsick for $55 you probably don't want to do that no you don't want to make that yeah. now I know that we don't have any other glasses for white so we're going right. to have yeah. to finish it <laughs> <laughs> okay drink up well, we open them because we have another white here right <laughs> We do. Now, before we get to that one, as we're finishing the sparkly, can mm -hmm. you tell me about this? I noticed that this is a screw top, which I find quite intriguing. Because yeah. isn't that sort of, oh, don't admit that you use screw anymore. top wine? No, it used to be really like, you know, you'd, br you'd bring a bottle of wine with a screw cap and you'd have it in a paper bag and you'd open it in the paper bag and that kind of thing. But it totally is not like that anymore. I can't believe they're drinking wine on my dog. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Just throwing it back. Well, there's, a lot, there's a lot of um, uh, winemakers now, Jill, across the world that, that are. That are wow. <laughs> that are
are selling really expensive wines and screw caps. So screw caps now are cool. Really? Don't worry about it. It's, okay. it's not something you have to be ashamed of. And yes, now we, this is a wine. The second one that we brought is called a Pelia. It's from Greece. Okay. It is made from um, the Acerco and the Roditis grape variety. And you know, it's all Greek to a lot of people. <laughs> no, the people don't know the grape variety. Don't know the Greek grape variety. I'm just going to pour a little bit. Yes, it's uh -huh. light. It's fruity. It's uh, got good acidity and it'll pair well with your cold appetizers that you have here, your hummus, your yes. olives. Because yes. you know what, usually when you're thinking of pairing wine and food, one of the things, one of the things that you think about is if you have cold food, you serve a lighter wine. Okay. So that's just like one of the axioms. So it's axioms. not a red meat, red wine, no, white No, meat. not at anymore. all. You have to think Sorry. about weight, you know, <laughs> like it's when you're thinking okay. of pairing wine and food. Now let's quickly roar along to the reds. All right. I like that white one, by the way. This is a red, red wine record. from the Cote d'Iron area. And okay. it's a, quite a so famous. We're wandering country. from Greece. We're now going back to France. Mediterranean okay. countries. Mediterranean yeah. countries. That's right. Yeah, oh, wrong one. Sure. Oh, oops. Oops. <laughs> well, that's, that's not that's the Italian. Oh, no. Sorry. We're doing a Francaise right now. Talk about this. Okay, we're going Italy then. Whatever. All right. Shall we do the round of hot lights? What do you expect? All right. Well, okay. Well, we've gone to Italy, which is fine. Now, this wine comes from Tuscany. I know. Okay. Come back. Okay. Tuscany is. And does anybody remember the movie Under the Tuscan Sun? Keanu Reeves was in it. Oh, well, he, exactly. he's so sexy. Yeah. Well, this is a sexy wine. Now. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's made of 90% Sangiovese. It's got Malvasia in it. Okay. It's absolutely awesome, and it's going to go with your I've been told I have to do this, you know. <laughs> it's not like a problem or anything. Drink up, drink they up. said try all the wines, so I'm trying them all. Now, this wine, we're back to France. Okay, Coke you can tell that we're not in Italy anymore. Soft tannins. <laughs> it's going to go great, again, with the chicken souvlaki These are and really your moussaka. good, you guys. Right? They're really smooth. We worked really yeah. hard. I didn't even get to eat any so And reasonable prices, Jill. Okay. You know, you know what? We're going to have all the prices and all the details about these wines on our website because as happens in TV, you never have as much time as you'd like to have as much fun as you'd like. So anyway, thank you so much to George and Suzanne for dropping by. Look at cbc.ca slash Jill for more information about all of this. And ladies, do I get to keep some of this? Because, we're going to leave know, all these wines. Mother does like her Italian no reds. Let's just say